Stack is a tool which helps you to install GHC of any version in an isolated location for your project. Also, it helps you to install packages needed for your project, build your project, test your project, and benchmark your project. The first thing to start uh, with your Haskell project, you need to choose the Haskell version for your project. When you're done with th th this, you need to go to Stackage website and select a suitable snapshot for your project. What is a snapshot? Snapshot is just a GHC version plus some packages compatible with this version. You can find snapshots for any Haskell version here. You can go to this page and list all the snapshots. But usually you need a newest one and I will select it here. So we can see the latest releases of snapshots and let's just select this newest release. Let's copy name of this snapshot. Next thing you need to do is to go to your directory where you want to create your project folder and exec following command stack uh, with resolver parameter and here we put our snapshot version and then the say that you want a new project with the name first project okay let's start it and we can see here that I already have this folder and I just removed it and try to start our new project again. Okay, the stack created this directory, first project. Let's look at the files of this directory. We can see that it has some files. I will show you these uh, files in my idea, IntelliJ idea. And you can see we have two folders here, app folder and src folder. So app folder contains our main module of our application and the main file, main entry point to our program. Uh, this is main function which calls some function some func which, uh, which defined in this lib, lib module and also we have this src folder which contains our lib function so stack created one library lib and one main module of our application they can see that uh, this library contain our some func function which put a line on the screen, some funk. The next thing you need to do, you need to call stack setup, which uh, will download the, our Haskell uh, version to our directory. The next thing you need to do is to build a project which will do the compilation of our project and create a binary file. And the next thing you need, you want to do is to run our project. And first of all, you need to know uh, the name of the binary file. And you need to open package.yaml file and find executables section here. You can describe uh, some executables and you can see that we have this first project exe file here let's copy it and run it to run it you need to write stack exec and the name of the executable and you can see that we see uh, our some funk stream on the screen 
But what if you if you want to add some dependency to uh, to a project, some library? For example, what if I want to use uh, some socket functions here? Uh, we need a network package dot socket model for this, and let's run. Let's try to build and run our project to do this we have command stack run and you can see this import error here it happened because haskell didn't know about our network model and they need to add it to it to do this we need to go to packages.yaml file and find section dependencies and here they need to add our package and run our project again and you can see that it is compiled also you can run test of your projects tests okay and if you want to change the Haskell version, you need to go to stack.yaml file and change the resolver here uh, to the snapshot with uh, suitable version and uh, rebuild the project. And the next thing you need to you might need is uh, to see the list of installed packages to see this you need this command stack exec ghc package and the list and you can see the a list of installed modules the web versions and uh, we can see the our network package here and its version of course stack has many other features for example you get uh, at uh, ghc compile options uh, to your executables and also you can have um, not only one executable you can have many of them and uh, all these things you can find in the documentation on the site so guys i hope this quick start guide will help you to start your first haskell project and thanks for watching push subscribe button push like button and see you in the next video bye